The highly anticipated Galaxy S26 Ultra is just four months away, and it might deliver a surprising twist. Samsung could replace Qualcomm's flagship Snapdragon processor with its own Exynos chipset. According to fresh reports, the entire Galaxy S26 lineup will be powered by the Exynos 2600, Samsung's in-house silicon. This is a major shift. For the past three generations, the Ultra model has been powered exclusively by Snapdragon across all markets. Galaxy S23 Ultra Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 Galaxy S24 Ultra Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 Galaxy S25 Ultra Snapdragon 8 Elite Meanwhile, the non-Ultra Galaxy S models often shipped with Exynos chips in select regions. Although competent, Exynos has long been viewed as a step behind Snapdragon in raw performance and efficiency. Up until recently, industry watchers assumed the Galaxy S26 Ultra would launch with Qualcomm's next powerhouse, the Snapdragon 8 Elite 2, also referred to as Snapdragon 8 Gen 5, but a new report from the Korea Herald suggests otherwise. Every Galaxy S26 model, including the Ultra, could rely solely on Exynos 2600. Samsung's January 2026 launch is still months away, so this information should be taken cautiously. However, there's logic behind the move. The Exynos 2600 will reportedly be built on Samsung Foundry's 2 nanometer process, a step beyond today's 3 nanometer Snapdragon chips. Smaller nodes generally mean faster, more efficient performance, and Samsung clearly aims to close the gap with rivals. Historically, Exynos chips have struggled against Snapdragon in both raw power and thermal stability, but expectations are shifting. Early Geekbench scores show the Exynos 2600 hitting 3,309 in single core and 11,256 in multi core performance. That not only outpaces the Snapdragon 8 Elite but also edges close to Apple's iPhone 16 Pro in single core while surpassing it in multi core. Even more impressively, these numbers suggest the Exynos 2600 is competitive with Qualcomm's upcoming Snapdragon 8 Elite 2. To further improve efficiency, Samsung is reportedly introducing a new thermal design called the Heat Path Block designed to keep performance stable under load. On the graphics side, Samsung is moving away from AMD's RDNA-based designs. Instead, a former Huawei GPU executive is helping shape Samsung's first fully in-house GPU for the Exynos 2600. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe for daily Samsung updates. Peace out.